Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm testing out the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. So this is a 25 milliliter bottle of the Wet n Wild, and this is supposed to be a magic potion that refines pores, fills, fa fills fine lines, brightens your complexion, evens skin tone. Here's a look at the ingredients. I don't know if this comes in any colors, but apparently this is 850 partners in Prime. This is made in China and not tested on animals. The packaging is like very, like it's not trying too hard. It kind of reminds me of Makeup Forever. For moisturizer, I've been using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream quite a bit, which is kind of a popular thing. I got it in one of my Sephora favorites box. And it's just like kind of a, I want to say a heavy duty moisturizer, so it's been great for winter time. I have had some breakouts lately, and I don't know if it's because of this or if it's just something else, but to test this primer, I'm going to apply it to half of my face, the side with the P, because I always forget which side of my face I put it on. The other side, we're going to keep totally bare. And then for foundation today, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear. All right, so it's just like a white cream. And if you blend it in, it just kind of disappears on the skin. I don't want to say it's got a tacky feeling, but it definitely feels like it's going to Velcro makeup to it, if that makes sense. And I definitely took too much. I don't think I need to use all this. And lately, I've been reading that you need to pat your primer into your face instead of like rubbing it in. So that's also what I'm going to do here. And I've kind of given it the tougher side of my face. I've definitely got some issues I'm working on here. All right, so that's it on half of my face. Does my face look any brighter on this side or evener? Do my pores look different? So that's with the primer. That's without the primer. I don't, I don't think it looks brighter. It feels... It feels dry and it kind of feels like an almost powdery silicone feeling and it does feel very smooth. So I do really like the way it feels on your skin. And now we will just apply foundation like normal. To do that, I'm gonna be using my beauty blender. I just opened up my nude beauty blender. So I'm gonna apply the side that doesn't have it first. I feel like I've been wearing a ton of makeup lately and the last couple days I've been wearing a lot of falsies. I'm gonna kind of take it easy on my skin today. Okay, and that's it. Get it on the side with the primer. And of course, the application doesn't feel any different. Maybe if I was using my fingers, it would. Now I'm just gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I'll check back in a second. All right, so I've just finished up the rest of my makeup, kind of going for a beautiful spring vibe, even though it's still very much winter. Let's do a really close up and then we can like really talk about this. Do you see a difference? I either see no difference or I see that this side is slightly I want to say a little bit smoother, my pores look a little bit smaller, so this side I think is the better side. There's less like of a powder stick, it looks just more like flowy. There's a bit of patchiness up by my eyebrow on the side, what's up with that? The better side is the side without primer, so I don't know. I've, I feel like I've used this in the past all over my face and I felt like, dang, I look better. But um, comparing side by side, I'm actually less impressed than I uh, thought I was going to be. But that being said, I'm not going to prejudge because it might help with oil control or just helping the makeup stick on throughout the day. So I'm going to wear this for the next 12 hours and I'll check in at the end of the day to let you know my final thoughts. So let's go.
now the end of the night. It's 9 o'clock here and I'm just about to take off my makeup and this is what my skin looks like. Do you see a difference between the two sides? Do you remember which side was which? So this was the side with the primer and this was the side without the primer. I did blot and powder around, I want to say 6.37, kind of after dinner. And I took out, I'd say, about a normal amount of oil. And I'm just going to quickly blot again and see if one side is greasier than the other. Mm, I'm going to say that's about equal. One interesting thing is when Douglas came home from work around 5.30ish, I did ask him if he could see a difference between either side of my face. And he actually knew that something was up with this side of my face. He said it looked more foundation-y in a kind of textured way. And he didn't know what I was testing. So I was like, what have, how do you even see anything? But you'll remember I did kind of feel like that this morning. I felt like the side with nothing did look a little bit better overall. After powdering and blotting, I was just doing a really good stare in the mirror to see if I could see any differences. And honestly, I couldn't really see any difference between either side of my face, so I don't know if over time they've just kind of like both mellowed out or what. Overall, I don't know really what to think about this thing. Um, it does say it refines pores, and I felt like on a day where I wear it all over my face, I'm like, oh yeah, I can actually tell. But then today I was like... I can't tell the difference between the sides of my face. Um, filling fine lines, I don't know. I feel like I'm equally liney. Brightens complexion, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it does look like slightly brighter. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to comment. That's such like hard to tell stuff. And even skin tone, which I don't think really happened, but maybe it was a little bit brighter overall. If it was, it was like not a huge difference anyway. In terms of the way my skin feels now, they feel pretty much the same. Um, although it does have like a really nice texture when you first put it on, it kind of feels smooth and at the same time really dry and mattifying. But um, yeah, I can't say that it actually did anything different than the other side of my face, unfortunately. I really thought this time I was gonna be able to say this primer is a for sure go. But it turns out that I will still be searching for a primer that I think actually does something. You can check out some of my other primer videos up in this playlist here. Because, yeah, if you have any suggestions, definitely leave them down below. And I will add them to my to try list. Overall, I'm going to give this like a 2.5 out of 5. Because I swear on days when I don't, when I do my full face, I'm like, it's doing something. So the good news is it's cheap. It does feel nice when you first apply it, but then in terms of wear and I don't know if it actually brings out texture, that's a bad thing. So maybe I should downgrade it. So maybe I'll say a two out of five, so it's not a pass. I wanna thank you so much for spending this time with me watching my videos. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any feedback, comments, tips, concerns, anything you want to let me know. And of course, share this video if you think anybody in your life would find it useful. I will see you guys all tomorrow in my next beauty video. Bye!